Lake St. John. This is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike. This is Dick. I heard you tracked down Harp. I was hoping you'd bring him in for trial. Well, sorry, Mike. He, uh, le let's say the Swarmers had other ideas about that. Oh, shit. Ricky didn't tell me that. Harp wasn't the kind of man you ever turned your back to, but he didn't deserve to go out like what? that. Uh, I guess not, uh, but then I guess Dan Lane didn't deserve to get shot in the back either. <sighs> Point well taken. See you, Deke. Iron Mike out. Good choice. Thanks. Good piece. Should help out in the shit. This'll do you good out there. Can I get anything else for you? What else can I do for you? Find me if you need anything else. I'll see you later, man. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Danny, you keeping your hands clean? Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Here, I got it. Hey, where you at, brother? Hey, loser. I'm uh, heading up to Marion Forks. Marion Forks? What the hell for? Because I decided... Well, it's like you said, I've, uh... I've mourned her long enough. It's, uh, time to say goodbye. You went to the church? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Jesus, Deke. It's the last time, Boozer, I swear, Deacon out. Yeah, I'll see if I can uh, make time. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. <laughs> Truth will set you free. What does Nero want? They disappear for two years, come back guns blazing. Don't bother trying to find out. Besides, we already know. I've been watching them skulk around. <laughs> they know these woods better than me. Yeah, do it, some of the freaks. Tracking them, studying them, watching them, making your notes in their little notebooks. And you know why? <laughs> Seeing how long it takes for these sons of bitches to die or starve off. Probably trying to get a read on when the feds can reemerge from their hiding holes and crawl back into their unjust positions of power. For once, the freaks are on our side. Longer they're here, longer the feds can rot down there in their stony prison. The world may not be ours anymore, but thanks to the freaks, it doesn't belong to the feds either. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Once again, Cope, you don't know shit. Freaks ain't on anyone's side. And the world, yeah, already belongs to them. Scrap. Another micro recorder. One so, of these is gonna explain uh, what the hell you guys are doing. They found a rubber rock. Hey, it's a rumor. Nero had all the good shit. Oh, there we go. 
That's it. Yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me, so okay, I'll stop by, digging out. Got it. Okay. Can use this. Hey, me again. Uh, it's been crazy here, I gotta tell you. Um, remember that night in Farewell? Or, yeah, well, no one's forgetting about that. Anyhow, uh, the Nero guy, O'Brien. He's alive? He, well, he's alive. And, yeah, I admit, I, uh, thought for a while, I, I thought that maybe you might be, too, which... <laughs> Would have made me feel real stupid for coming up here all this time, and, well, I, I guess I do still feel stupid since you didn't die here. Uh, but I'm... I'm re real sorry that I wasn't there when you went in for that surgery, and when you got out. Six hours, O'Brien said. Jesus, you are always a fighter. I mean, I... Should have been there uh, when your camp was overrun. I should have been there for that, too. So, anyway, Boozer's settling in. <clears throat> I think I told you that he lost the arm. Ah, uh, goddamn rippers. That was a shit show. And we're still at the Lost Lake camp. Looks like he's, it looks like we're gonna be there for a while. Well, <laughs> it's, 
here we are. <sighs> He's still a pain in the ass. I mean, you know how he gets, so... I mean, the other day he got drunk off his ass, decided to walk home. Jesus, you should have seen him. I, I don't know what he... Look, I, I'm just saying I'm, I'm worried about him. Okay, I gotta go. So, uh, yeah. I'll be back. Bye. Friends are bleeding all over my church, and what the hell are you gonna do about it? I'll just take these. What's that? It's 
Something's wrong. Shit, he's down. What the hell? Uh, you... you've each prepared your own valve? Well, uh, traditionally, the... the groom goes first. Uh. I'll, I'll go first. Deacon... I'm so sorry that no one came. I guess we really pissed off everyone. On both sides. I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. <sighs> this ring is a symbol of my love. And it is precious. Has no beginning and no end. I love you. Shit, more of them. This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, I'm gonna just go. <laughs> Get a room! <laughs>
Booze man, you there? Yeah, Deke, what's up? You remember that little church? The one Sarah and I got married in? Well, I found a couple of assholes trash in the place. Let him in. Who's man? You there? Yeah, Deke. What's up? You remember that little church? The one Sarah and I got married in? Well, I found a couple of assholes trash in the place. Wish I'd been there. I'd have helped you kill them all. Messing with Sarah's church. Shit. Yeah. Anyway, just checking in. Deacon out. Hey, Deacon. Hey, hey Alka. Hey, Addy, back to work. you there? Lost Lake Infirmary, can you read me? Deacon, I'm here. Addy, good, good. Look, um, are you gonna be around for a while? I, uh, I, I need to see you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, look, nothing. I'm, I'll tell you when I get there. Deacon out. Yeah, all right. I'll be here. You want anything else? Come see me. Yeah? Deacon, thank God. What's wrong, Tuck? It's rippers. More goddamn rippers. Oh, good rippers. Okay, where? They keep coming over the Ironview Pass. Now they've set up a camp along Bear Creek, just south of here. I'm afraid, Deke, if we don't stop them, what's gonna happen to the hot springs? I don't know, I get it, I get it. Don't worry about this, Tuck, I got this. Bet you're here for your bike, right? Sandy. Hey, I see you, Deke. Ah! Say, John, I got the gate. Deke? Hey, we got a job for you. Ricky. Hey, um, okay. Yeah, I'll check in. Deke and out. Hey, Tuck, I'm at that Ripper camp, and it doesn't look like there's too many of them, so, you know, must be a scouting party. Kill him! Kill him all, Deke! Yeah, Tuck, you don't gotta tell me. Say, John, out. Goddamn Ripper's my friend. Lost an arm because of you bastards. You wanna rest in peace, I can help you out with that. Come on, you sons of bitches, come on. You want to get...
Oh, damn rippers. Rest in hell, the lot of you. Well, I better get back, so. Ah. Uh, okay, I gotta just turn this in and talk. Tucker, it's done. Did you get them all? Ah, uh, yeah, Tuck, I got them all. Isn't that what you're paying me for? Sorry, it's just. This is the third time they've come up here, attacking our camp, taking and killing that poor girl, Lisa. <laughs> we have to stop him, Deke. We have to. Uh, Tuck. Son of a bitch. Uh, listen, I've been Iron Butte and uh, I've seen part of what they're building. What? When? How, how did you... No, it doesn't matter, but trust me on this. There's too many of them. Hundreds, maybe, maybe thousands. And if they decide to come north, you ain't gonna stop them. You just ain't. All right, so just keep doing what you're doing. You kill any that cross the border, and that's gonna let Carlos know... That he ain't moving north without a fight. That's the best you can do. St. John out. Damn rippers. I am going to kill all of you. Use this. Hmm. <laughs> 
a lot of ammo left. Deer crossing the road. Well, two years ago, that would have gone splat. <laughs> Here's the generator. off figures. Uh, here we go. Never gets old. Green lights are good. Green lights are always good. Okay, let's see what we got in here.
Another Nero quarter. Hey, I'm here to What run. happened here? About goddamn time. Jesus, I'm tired. Hey, Nero and Jet there. Just with the uh, Did I miss anything? Yeah, you wouldn't believe it. This morning, we had a goddamn pilgrimage come through. Uh, what? What are you talking about? <laughs>
It's all right. Open up. Deacon, my man. Hey. Hey. Mm, Mule's looking a little low. I'll be here. Hey, you'll stop by whenever you need something, all right? Hey, Deke, how's it going? Damon, how's it going? Deke, oh, you're not gonna believe this one. I don't know, Cope. I've seen a lot of unbelievable shit these past couple years. Try me. Hmm. You remember the anarchists? Came through a year ago, maybe more, killing anyone in their path? Leaving their little piles of stones everywhere they went? Anarchists? Yeah, yeah, we had a couple of run-ins with them back in the day. Well, they're back. Two of my people stumbled into their camp while out hunting deer. Only Bender made it back. She said it was anarchists. Each of them had the symbol painted on their like face. Jesus, where? Where does she see the camp? I'll mark it on your map. You find them and kill every last one of them. We got enough crazy up here dealing with rippers. Don't need anarchists moving back in. You get that right. I'll find them. <laughs> You're back. It's good to see you again. Jazzy. <laughs> What's been keeping you away so long? Blair, you are looking fine today. Okay. Hmm, that should work. Uh, here you go. Uh, good choice. All right. Uh, hey, Deke. Be safe. Hey, Deke. What's up, Joe? Good to see you, Deke. Buzz, how's a camper's life? Sure. All right. Let's start with this thing. Shit. See you later, Deke. No idea how to fix it. Deke! <laughs> How's my favorite bounty hunter? Let me get the gate. Where? How you doing? You got what you need? Yep, everything I could think of. Let's go. Well, you sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at last leg, and that's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one problem with that. Now what's that, Deke? Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. Hey, we're here! Shit! Swarmers! I was hoping it was gonna be clear. Nah, why would we have that kind of luck?
Okay, I think that's all of them. Crap. Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope, but there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. All right, ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! If you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks! I'll try to keep that in mind. Got him! Jig! I'm trying! Well, God damn it. <sighs> well, that was fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out. Okay, how the hell did- It's not hard to put two and two together, Deke. How you lost her at that refugee camp. The one north of Belknap. And in the last few weeks, we've seen Nero choppers in the air, and you were hoping for what? A miracle? That she was with them somehow? Something like that. But she's not. No. I'm sorry. Look, it's not a big deal, so let's just drop it. Around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago so it wouldn't short out. Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Let's listen up. Okay. Now, the past few months have been tough. Not going to deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell. Pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters ride into camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight, 
is proof of what I've been saying all along. Yeah. We yeah. need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Now, for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. But she can't do it alone. She needs help. Tonight is going to happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. Hey, 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 you two. I got a, I got a, I got a bottle of bourbon. Right. Oh, that's your cue. Uh, good Ooh, night. Oh, hey. What happened? That's uh, nothing. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go see Addy. So the woman in the photo, that was her? That was my wife, yeah. Dumb question. I'm, I'm sorry. No, don't be. She's, uh, she's been dead a long time. Still, it can't be easy to get your hopes up like that, only to... I, I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Well, there is. What? Stop talking about it. Okay. Addie? Addie! Now the lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addie, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip? Strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? Mm-hmm. I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean Aha, uh -huh. that I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell you were doing. <laughs> All right, this <clears throat> might hurt just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus, okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just, huh? Shh. Hang on. There, it's done. Big baby. I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh... Remember. What about this one? Ricky, uh... I'm not sure that, uh... Well, I heard that Addie doesn't really like, um... people messing around in her business. Yeah, I... I heard that, too. What about this one? I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and see Addie, and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... <sighs> Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome. Hey, Deacon? <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there.
Addie. Hey, Deacon, how can I help you? Uh, it's Boozer. Is he okay? He's, yeah, not well. He's not. He's not sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. Well, I told you that it was going to be a big adjustment. Do you have any drugs around here? Like antidepressants, something like that? No. Sorry. Okay. Wait. I heard about what happened. How we went after those guys who were killing those dogs. Yeah, and he nearly got us killed while doing it. Well, maybe that's your answer. Nearly getting us killed while doing it? Look, what does William love so much that he'd be willing to risk his own life? He doesn't need something to heal his body. He needs something to heal his soul. I got it. Thanks, Eddie. Good to see you, Deke. How's it going, Buzz? I don't even know where to start with this thing. Shit. Here to no, check I out my shit? Uh, check back later, I guess. See you later, Deke. <laughs> 